I'm going to start my words of encouragement a little bit differently. I have a song. How many of you know that we serve a mighty God? Yeah. I was going to sing a different song, but it's kind of a little bit longer. So I, the Lord told me to sing this short and sweet song. It goes like this, and you all know it, so sing with me. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before Him. Heaven and earth adore Him. Sometimes we don't want to do it because, you know, of fear. Yeah. Oh, you know, yeah. and uh, there's times that I, uh, the Lord specifically told me to, to be the messenger, and I didn't want to do it. I said, no, God, I ain't going to do it. Get somebody else. All right. And guess what? Amen. He got somebody else, and I lost the blessing. Amen. You know? So I was thinking on, on uh, in that message of uh, what Pastor brought forth, uh, it says, out of Egypt, I've called my son. Uh -huh. Jesus Christ. Yes. He called him out of Egypt. And he is the deliverer, and he's always on time. That's right. Yes, he is. And uh, in Romans chapter 8, verse, uh, verse 15, it says, For ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but ye have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. You know, um, I have this uh, this movie that uh, a pastor friend of mine turned me on to. Man, it's so beautiful you have a movie. I'm going to let you guys boil it. <laughs> you need to see it. Um, it's called The Grace Card. And and it was one of the most powerful Chris, Christian films I've ever seen. And it actually revolutionized my life. Made me think of some things that I went through in my own life. And uh, in, the, in the movie, there's a part that really stuck with me. You know, there's a, there's a guy that has nothing but troubles in his life. I ain't going to share the whole movie because I want you and uh, Pastor to watch it. All right. But there's one part where he, uh, where he is preaching to the congregation. And, and he says, when God sends me a teacher... Uh, it's something like when 
Um, when I think that I have it all, all together, basically, God sends me a teacher. Uh -huh. And I thought about that. I said, Lord, there's times that I need you to send the most unloving person, you know, the most evilest person to me to teach me how to love. You know, because sometimes when God sends people like that, you know, into our lives, He teaches us how to love. And it's not easy. You know, there's times that I just want to put my arm around their neck and just squeeze it, you know. But the thing of it is, is I'm glad that God sends people like this into my life. Because it teaches me that I don't have it all together myself. Amen. So, um, my words of encouragement today would be uh, to the congregation is to hang on to Jesus' hand. Don't let go. Because one day, we're going to see him as he really is. And it's going to be a beautiful and a wonderful moment. Right. And like I said before, I, I'll say it again, I can't wait to see him. Yes. So I can just run up to him and just grab him with my arms and say, I love you and I'm glad I made it. Amen. And I just want to praise God on today and and uh, thank God for each and every one of you. Amen. Amen. Amen.